Hi guys, Matt here. Today I wanted to show you guys an application called Free Mouse. Now, as you can tell by the name, there is a pro version of this. The pro version is called Mobile Mouse Pro. For me, the free version works perfectly, so please enjoy. Let's start with the computer aspect of this application. As you can see, I'm on mobilemouse.com. It's just playing through what Mobile Mouse Pro does. And I'll just read to you what it says. It can be used as a trackpad, a simple universal remote to control all your media applications, check your email and surf the net from the comfort of your couch, take control of your presentations from anywhere in the room, and it does work on Wi-Fi, meaning you can't, you have to be connected to a Wi-Fi network in order for it to work, the same one as your computer. And you can customize your app with user-defined remotes and custom scripting. So here is some things that the Pro version can do. As you can see, it can be used type for numbers. You can create shortcuts to applications, escape key, F1, F2, play, then just a bunch of home buttons. But in order to do it, you just scroll down a bit and you download... If you have a Mac, you download the Mac version. If you have a PC, you download the PC version. So I have this open right now. Let's see. Here it is in the App Store. It is free and the Pro version is 99 cents. I have the actual application that it wants you to download on the computer pre-downloaded and I blew it up so you guys can see it really well. It shows, it's just really cool. I will click that and it's opening right now. Okay, this application is very simple. Now that I have that open, I can click it. And in order to know it's open, if you look right here, you can have it have the little remote icon. So I'll go to that, press it, server settings. Now it has a pre made IP address for my MacBook. And let's just hit apply. I do not need a password. It's applied. Now, I'll show you guys the actual application for the iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. So, when you first open up the application, it will go to this GoPro screen, just doing a little ad for their Pro version, which is $0.99. Cents. I'll hit later. And... If you notice, it, I have it set up already, but Matt Ringle's MacBook, you can set it up there. You can set the frequency on how sensitive the screen is to moving the mouse. It already has all this done, but you can change if your phone plays sound, like when you tap the right button and the left button. You can have it go to sleep, I have that on, key buffer and force vertical. So I'll hit done. As you can see, this application is super simple. It just has the words right here, or the letters right here. So they will type into the computer. And they're actually typing in random letters right now. But, like, blah. So that's really cool. You can do numbers here. You can hit the Apple key and do shortcuts. It's doing shortcuts right now on my computer. If I hit Apple 2, it switches, as you can see the bar on the bottom, my different desktop screens go to 1. That's my main screen. Then I'll move back to 2. That's pretty cool. When using this application, you don't always have to have the keyboard being right here. If you move it down, it is now all a trackpad. And if you turn it the other direction, it keeps that in. There you go. Now it's just saying nothing to undo, but this version works great. Move it down. And right here, you can right click, left click, and just type. So. Now I will show you the computer again, and show you this actually working. 
So as you guys saw, this is what the desktop looks like. I am using this right here. I'll put it over my trackpad so you guys can see it better. But I'm moving the mouse around and if you guys can see it, I can right click just like normal. I can normal click, you guys can tell, but uh, let's go to a website so I can show you. Let's go to Twitter. Opening it up right here, you just tap to open it up. So, oh, I refresh. Okay, so now that we're on Twitter, I can show you by using these side keys right here. Right here. My screen is scrolling. First I have to click the screen like normal. But the screen is scrolling. Does it really smoothly. So, that's cool. I'll go up to the top and I'll type something in. I will go like that. Type in... It automatically has shift done. Playing... Okay, that's bad. And with... Free... Oop. I always mess up when I'm on camera. The only critique I have to say about this application is that every time you stop typing for a second, it has the nef next thing being a shift. I really do not like that because eh, I mess up a lot, I have fat fingers. But if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, my account name is PringleDude, P-R-I-N-G-E-L-D-U-D-E. -E. Thanks for watching, and if you could, could you please subscribe? just so you will be notified every time I post a new video. I post videos every Monday and every Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Bye.